Hickok 45 here with a couple of pistol caliber firearms. The Scorpion made by CZ and then the MPX made by, who is it? SIG. Both pretty good outfits. Let's shoot one of them. One, two. The Scorpion. Take a couple of shots. Boom. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Oh, yeah, there's a bowling pin down there. Oh, got him. Got that rascal. <laughs> Let's lock it back. Take that mag out. She's empty. Yeah, that's the uh, CZ Scorpion. And this happens to be the SIG MPX. Let's put a round in the chamber and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> hey, not bad. Woo, sweet. Hey, you can hit anything with both of them. Let's take the mag out and the uh, chamber's round. And she's empty too. Lay it back down. All right. Yeah, we're going to shoot these a little more. And uh, I just couldn't send this SIG MPX back without firing it some more. I guess I maybe should have called this a chapter two. But I thought I'd do a little comparison, okay, between the uh, Scorpion and the MPX. Two very, very uh, common, popular pistol caliber pistols or pistol caliber <laughs> carbines. Pistol caliber pistol. There's a new one. I'm going to coin that term. Uh, and I'm comparing apples to oranges a little bit, but I really don't care, okay? Because this one, even though they're almost as big, equal in some ways, uh, because of the large handguard on the Scorpion, it is actually officially a pistol with a brace on it. And the MPX is a carbine, you know, with 16 inch barrel. But they're all I've got and all I have really fired lately. And for the last few weeks, I have been uh, shooting this thing on and off, this Scorpion. Uh, you know, I purchased it, you recall, you've seen it in the Sunday morning videos a time or two, as well as the MPX, uh, have had it for a couple of weeks or more, and been shooting the both, and so I have definitely, uh, developed some opinions, you know, comparison-wise, between the two, even though one is a handgun with a shorter barrel, and, uh, I'd love to share that, for whatever it's worth, and since, in a way, it's not apples to apples, uh, we decide we're not going to charge you for this video. Okay. And uh, check us out sometime because we do uh, three or four videos every single week. Yeah, some of you don't keep up well. I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little comparison before I send the MPX back because I don't know when I'll have another one of those. I'm going to try to refrain from buying one. That's really tough for me when I kind of fall in like or fall in love with a firearm and i really like that thing i'm going to try to restrain myself so i might not have one of those for a while maybe ever again okay so while i have it before i ship it off thought i'd uh, say a couple things about it and this topic has been i guess done to death you know because a lot of folks a lot of you all have had some of these for many many years and uh i have not had these particular ones for for that long or the experience with them all that long but they're both big uh, names, CZ and SIG, okay? They, they have some things in common. That would be one. They're not some outfits you've never heard of, even though some outfits you've never heard of might make great guns, right? I'm not <laughs> implying that. But uh, they're both name brands, right? I talk about that occasionally on Sunday, name brands. They're both, they've been both very reliable, okay? They seem to be extremely reliable. And if you have had these, I, you'd probably agree they're, they're, they're reliable firearms. Uh, that's one thing that they just are, are known for, I believe, okay? If you've had a different experience, well, somebody I'm sure has had a different experience, right, with everything. But uh, generally speaking, I think you probably have found uh, that they are uh, just fairly simple in design and uh, just, just reliable in your firearms. I think they both have pretty good ergonomics. Uh, and again, even though this one's a pistol technically, and this one, you know, is a carbine, they're they're kind of set up. You've got a folding pistol brace. They're 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 similar in a lot of ways with the grips. They they feel uh, both feel good. You pick them up, and this one's had some doctoring done to it. You know, some some things replaced to it. Again, it's one another reason it's not apples to apples. The uh, you know the charging handles replaced H H B I guess, and uh, I, I moved it from the right to the left just this morning, and. Uh, you know, the, the pistol grip, uh, the safety has been uh, replaced and improved. 
And uh, so this one actually feels better than one out of the box, I think, to most people. But again, that's uh, a characteristic of these these firearms. They're they're very easy to modify. It's another thing they they both, I guess, would have in common that there's a huge aftermarket of uh, accessories for both of them. And actually, not just maybe what you call accessories. I don't know where that line is exactly, but you know, pistol grips not exactly an accessory, is it? But but you have choices: pistol grips and stocks and braces, safeties, bolt handles. Uh, you know, sights, of course, and, and just a myriad of other things that you can replace and uh, fix on both of them. Okay, so that's some things they have in common. They both fire nine millimeter, you know, newsflash. They're both pistol caliber, right? Okay. And, uh, I, you know, so I don't know, there's probably some other similarities I'm not thinking of, but in terms of differences now, uh, that's what I have noticed between these two. Again, other one's a little shorter, it's a pistol. But uh, the Scorpion is a blowback. Okay, blowback operation. We're totally empty. And uh, <laughs> it's like my brain, right? You have a blowback operation, which means you usually have a big old bolt, right? I can get him out of there and show him to you. Yeah. Big old heavy chunk of, I mean, that is a heavy chunk of steel. It really is. And you don't have a gas system, if you know what that is. We have a video on that, where you have a hole in the barrel and it's pushing gas back through a rod or a tappet or something and pushing. It's just the cartridge uh, pushing against that and blows it back. So it's usually heavier, whether it's a 380 or whatever the pistol is or rifle. If it's blowback, usually it's a handgun of some kind. Uh, it's just, well, not always. It, uh, you know, it just has a, it has a more felt recoil, put it that way, than that gun, because that gun's a gas gun. And it's not because the cartridge is any more powerful, fire the same ammo, but in order to knock this big bolt back, it's just what it's doing. Uh, none of it's bled off through a gas system or anything. So it's this thing coming back. And so you do get a little more recoil. So that is one, of the, uh, felt recoil, put it that way. That's one of the differences, okay? There we go, did that without smashing my finger. I got it dirty though, isn't that terrible? I'm a city boy, I can't have a dirty finger. And uh, you know, and again, simplicity there, you saw even I could take that out without uh, too much trouble. I usually can. Uh, and then uh, what else? Uh, this uh, Maybe you would consider the blowback a simpler design though. I guess the negative would be a little more felt recoil, but it, maybe that's a simpler design, less likely to, to cause trouble don't know uh, gas systems can clog up a little bit get carbon build up and that kind of thing uh, but you know that's coming and uh, you know so that's one of the deals you get there you might get a little more uh, you know like I say simplicity uh, you do get a less generally expensive firearm with this okay now the the scorpion is going to cost less not neither one of these is cheap but uh, just a simple blowback operation like this the design of it uh, you know, and I, in fact, I guess this costs about, at least in the stock version, you know, without the site, of course, they, these are sites are mine provided, but uh, without some of the replacements that have been put on this gun, I think it's generally going to run about half of what the SIG uh, MPX costs, okay? And again, this topic has been done a, a great deal, and many of you have handguns and pistols and both of these, and you've got all the accessories. I have seen so many of these things doctored up by so many people in interesting, you know, in, in interesting ways, actually, in uh, practical ways. And I tend not to want to hang a lot of things on the firearms that I, I even own or, or use, even if it's a defensive firearm for me. I tend not to do that. But I, uh, I have seen a lot of people with all sorts of things on these, and they seem to work fine. Speaking of that, so we appreciate their help. And uh, so it's a little louder today, and it has, because I've been firing it mostly suppressed. So anyway, nice, nice firearm. Uh, it really is. Well, it's a pistol. And again, this one, if you missed the first video, I'll link to the video, first videos with both these. But uh, someone put a, I bought this used, and it had uh, all this done already, and it had a... Uh, a carbine length handguard put on it okay so that's why it appears to be a carbine but it's really really not all right now the MPX. let me see yeah okay the mpx uh like i said this one uh is a lower lower recoil oh man is it lower recoil you've heard me uh maybe in a video or two 
just lavish praise on this thing. You would love to shoot this, all right? It just, because of the gas system, I won't take it apart totally, but uh, I, in fact, I'd have to take a couple of pins to do a little bit more. No, it's not hard there. I've had it out and everything. But the, the gas system is back here. It's a very short, short stroke, a little uh, tap it and piston there. And uh, what you do is you take the, the lower off totally, just like any AR, and uh, this handguard slips up and there's two screws you take out and then the barrel slides out and you got all that pretty accessible. And then uh, you take apart that gas system. It's not very hard at all. And, uh, but it is a gas system and uh, it seems very simple. Uh, but uh, it does uh, cause it to have very low recoil. Let me shoot it and uh, show you again. I, I tell you, I don't know if I'm game to do it or not. You could almost put the stock of this thing on your nose and shoot it. <laughs> you really could. Now, if you can tell, I'll just hold it with one hand. And hold it with two hands. And it just barely, barely moves. Where's that gone? Yeah. It's just a dream, a dream to shoot. And people who have uh, competed with these, shot these a lot, you know, I think they will agree with me. They're very popular on the uh, pistol caliber carbine competition circuit or class, however that works with USPSA or three gun matches. Just a dream. But again, that's one of the differences. It, it's a gas system, very, very low recoil. Now, this again, it's a rifle barrel, longer barrel, but if it had the same length barrel as this firearm, it'd be about the same and just the feel of it, incredible. Another big difference is, at least this model, the competition model, is that it's already been uh, adorned with the things you would like to have on one of these, like a really nice trigger, the, the Timney single stage trigger, uh, you know, it's ambidextrous. As I heard somebody say in a video, it's ambidextrous on both sides. <laughs> and uh, not to make fun of people. Uh, I'm the one that deserves to be made fun of, right? But yeah, it is ambidextrous on both sides. And, uh, you know, you got all that going for it without even having to, to change anything yourself. So there's really no modifications needed for it. I'm sure there's something you could think of you'd like to do to it. And, uh, of course, another big advantage to it is over the, I guess, the Scorpion, if you like AR-15s or AR platforms, is that's basically what you have, and most people are familiar with that, right? You got your safety there, just like, you know, everything, uh, you know, your mag release, you know, it's basically an AR platform in the nine millimeter. Uh, your, your stock, you know, operates the same way, and you know, there you go. You got your rails, of course, on both of them, put your site where you want to, you can have backup sites, uh, whatever you'd like to do so that's some ways it's different again other than the obvious it's a carbine but that's what i had and uh, so that's why just a little bit of comparison you know there so like i say i i just uh i've been enjoying both of these the last month less than a month and I thought before i send this one back i wanted to uh just do a short uh expose on you know my findings uh although many of you have already discovered that and you're, you're well aware of it maybe a lot of you have not if you're considering a pistol caliber carbine which i think a lot of people probably are they've gotten so so popular and while a lot of people have them that means they're very very popular so a lot of people are out there too thinking about one and uh i guess i have four or five and I, the more i think about it you know i got an ar lone wolf thing and uh got the uh, CS, uh, see, CSX Storm Beretta and they're just a lot of fun a lot of fun to shoot and these two are a couple of the most popular the, I guess these might be uh, rank one and two even in most popular or most most common I'm not I'm not sure but uh, they're both great guns and you know I got a little ammo left so I'm gonna shoot this before we go that's some Syntec in it yeah make sure you get the right mag you know the mags look uh, similar, don't they? This one's for the MPX, and this is a Scorpion. These are Magpul. I bought most of these mags. I bought aftermarket. So I'm gonna take a couple more shots. All right, because there are some things that have not been fired upon. <laughs> so even though with that MPX, 
you can just lay it there and uh, very little recoil. This one ain't bad either. You know, I mean, it's nine millimeter <laughs> after all. All right, so I want another chance to shoot this one. It's probably the last shots I'll take. Make sure I didn't put a, yeah, that's right. They're not hollow points or anything. Okay. Yeah, man. So you got a, on this one, you've got the bolt drop on both sides. Again, ambidextrous, both sides. Where's that gong? Where's that gong? There he is. <laughs> you would love this uh, again it's not cheap it's a couple thousand bucks and uh the other one's probably about half that you know depending on what's on it but so anyway just a little fun before i send that back and uh, uh maybe point out something you were not aware of i don't know if there's anything like that if you've studied these if you have these you're a pistol caliber aficionado I haven't told you anything today, uh, but uh, but if you haven't experienced them, maybe that helps a little bit. Uh, either one, you would have fun with. You would love. If you got a thick enough pocketbook, uh, you would definitely love that one. And I think you'd like the Scorpion, uh, but you, what most people find they want to do with them, though, is as quickly as possible, if not sooner, they want to replace the pistol grip on them, the safety, they want to put the fake safety on the right, or I forget what they call that, but there's no real safety over there. And, uh, you know, the charging handle, uh, what else? I think even the mag release button switched out on this one. And then, of course, the brace of your choice, and if it's a pistol. But, uh, you know, just be aware of that. So, and, I, and on some of the MPX models as well, this is, the, I think, the competition, which they've already, you know, put that fine trigger in, some things like that, so. Anyway, these are really cool guns. Let me hold them both up because I, I like them and I'm going to miss this old uh, MPX. How's that? Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there, you know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com talongungrips.com and also while you're out there I'm juggling all these things here also uh, while you're on the internet please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook there's also Hickok45 on Twitter the real Hickok45 on Instagram there's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things there's Hickok45.com uh, you can find us also on Gunstreamer so check out all that stuff and then watch more videos